Hey guys, Alex from Red Letter Days here. I'm just going to uh, show you guys a quick tutorial on how to play the first song on our new EP, Enough. So if you look behind me, this is actually uh, the rig that I use on stage. It's an orange TH100 twin channel head with an orange, you can't really see this, but it's an orange 2x12 uh, cabinet. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. The song starts off pretty simple. First thing you're going to do is you're going to have your uh, middle finger on the A string on the 7th fret. And I do it with the first finger on the D string on the sixth fret. So it sounds a little bit something like this. Yeah, you're gonna be playing doing a hammer on onto the seventh fret with your uh, ring finger from the D string. So it sounds a little bit like this. That's just the basic intro. Like I said, you start with the E, uh, e with a major third over it, and then hammering, and then you go down to a D with a major third and do the hammer on. So let's do it one more time, just to make sure you got it. intro riff, you know, a cool like surf rock kind of guitar riff, or at least that's what I thought of when I wrote it. So uh, we got the intro, we got the lead lick, or lead riff, I guess if you want to call it. So uh, now we go into the first first verse. You're doing the E with a major third over it, just like you were doing in the intro. So, and I saw The chord just sounds something like this. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to start with an E in this shape, then you're going to move down to a D in this shape, and then you're going to move to an A on the uh, E string in this shape, so it sounds a little something like this. And notice how I go back to the E power chord on the 7th fret there at the end. So uh, yeah, when you play it, make sure it's like really, really punchy because it kind of accentuates the bass and the uh, bass drum and the bass guitar as well. So it sounds a little when you play it full speed, it sounds a little something like this. And then we move on to the pre-chorus. You want to call it that, I guess. So. Three chords is really simple. It's two chords, a B and an A. I just play them as power chords right here. And you, uh, what you do is you play a B power chord, but you leave you leave the B and E string open, so it's a nice ringing sound like this. Like you can really hear like the you can hear the open strings at the end. So I, I do that. I leave the two strings open whenever I play the B and go to the A. So it sounds like this. Like. You're here today. You go to actually an F sharp minor, which is down here on the second fret of the E string. So it's and you end on that A right there. Okay, and now we go into the chorus. You're gonna go from an E power chord on the seventh fret of the A string down to a D, which is on the fifth fret, uh, fifth fret of the A string, and then you're gonna go down to an A on the fifth fret of the E string. So sounds a little like this. That's basically the backbone of the song, um, you know, just different variations of the verse, the pre-chorus, and the uh, chorus. Um, there is also the bridge. The bridge uh, starts off on just an F sharp right here. So you can F sharp minor, nice, nice full chord. So you're, what you're going to be doing is you're going to go F sharp to a D uh, to an A. Okay, so it should should look a little bit like this. Like. Notice how 
notice how at the end there I went from the D to an E. So uh, first like measure through it's a F sharp D A, uh, and then the second time you go through it's F sharp D. So yeah, that's all basically the whole song right there. Uh, you know, you got your intro, you got your verse, you got your pre-chorus, chorus, and bridge. All five of the main parts that form the backbone of the song. So yeah, go ahead and give it a try. Uh, make sure to check out the rest of our EP. And uh, happy guitar playing, guys.